Hey guys, welcome to Moab, Utah, and today we're going to do a quick walk around of the new Volkswagen Atlas base camp. And you've been using it as a base camp, Nathan, so what have you been doing with the vehicle here in Moab? This is an interesting vehicle because it's not just a regular Volkswagen Atlas, it has a special parts package, the base camp, as Roman said. And what I did is I used it to tow my 1,200 uh, pound trailer from Denver, Colorado, all the way over here. And along the way, this vehicle got about 17 miles per gallon, which is really good. And it towed brilliantly. Light weights, this can hold up to 5,000 pounds, 1,200 pounds, piece of cake. And along the way, I noticed a lot of things. Very comfortable, especially with these spongy tires. And we're going to talk about that in a sec. And it's a fairly competent vehicle, but there are a lot of downsides, and I wanted to talk about those. So let's start by uh, showing them what's under the hood. I'll pop it open and you open it up and then we'll talk about the pluses and minuses of uh, camping in the base camp. Indeed. Now, if you guys are wondering, the base camp started out as a concept vehicle at one of the auto shows uh, and then uh, Volkswagen decided to tone it down a little bit uh, and not make it quite so off-road worthy so it basically is an appearance package uh, with a little bit more aggressive tire a little bit different uh, set of wheels and of course my favorite part the base camp <laughs> yeah look at that yeah it's almost clean everything else is dirty I'm actually taking this thing off-road lightly but I wanted to show you first of all this is the VR6, and it is I don't know, 276 horsepower, 266 pound-feet of torque. Actually, a fairly good setup with this vehicle. Decent power, great passing power, no problem pulling. It did a great job towing my trailer. And as I said, it was relatively efficient, about 17 miles per gallon. That's up and over the hill getting here. That's an average. Not bad. Now, let's talk about what the base camp really is, because it's basically a $2,500 parts catalog edition you have to go onto the website not for the Volkswagen but for Volkswagen parts in order to get this you can't have it included with your package so in other words if you went on to buy this online and you assembled this vehicle and you wanted the base camp package you can't get it you have to go to Volkswagen parts to get it come over here See these wheels? this is the main part of the package now you can buy them individually, 250 bucks each. Yeah, it's a thousand bucks for the wheels. And they're actually actually kind of cool. They're called 52s. Notice those tires, they don't come with them. If you want any particular tire, you have to buy them yourselves and equip them. And that goes for the whole package. All of this, all of these components have to be put on either at your dealership or by you. That's part of the problem. I really think that this should be part of a parts package, right, that you order online with the vehicle. Okay, but with all that being said, oh, and by the way, usually dealerships charge to add these components, and these tires, oh, a couple hundred bucks each. Now, by the way, these are Continentals, and they've done really good off-road, um, but I've only taken it on light off-roading, a little bit of sand and dirt trails. Yeah, I mean, let's face it, this is no Land Cruiser, right? It doesn't have exactly a low range. No. It doesn't have a lot more ground clearance, uh, but it does have a very comfortable interior. Four motion, all wheel drive, which does okay. Four motion, all wheel drive, and a lot of space. Yeah, actually, that's the other thing about it. I wanted to show you guys something. So one of the things I had to do with this vehicle to make it into a base camp is, because I have a tent trailer and it's really windy in Moab sometimes, I had to put my entire refrigerator basically in here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so, but it's really great because this folds flat, so I'm able to keep all my food in here, so I just have to toddle out of my trailer and go over to this in order to eat. Why don't you pop the back, show how much room there is. Yeah, there's a ton of space. It's a ton. Yeah. Um, the, one of the things about the Atlas that I really like is the fact that you can hold a lot, and also the third row seats are very comfortable compared to a lot of other vehicles in this range. Nathan, if you get cold, you know, you could fold down that second I row. I tried it. And I and already it. tried. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I tried sleeping in it. And, <laughs> and it didn't work. You know why it didn't work, though? It's actually my fault. Because I steamed up the windows and everything, and then, like, people were walking uh, by at the campground and thought I was, yeah. yeah. So, uh, not a great idea. But, in terms of this floor being very flat, it is indeed. And the seats are comfortable. Overall, I thought the vehicle's quite good. I understand why some people are like, 
it's not really an off-road vehicle even with the base cam trim and you're absolutely right it's not i'm gonna shut this the other cool thing about this of course nathan is that uh um, well, there's two engine choices, so you got the bigger, right? Yeah. There's also a four-cylinder, but it's built in Chattanooga. Indeed it is. Now, for those of you who are wondering, Base Camp is available on almost everything, so you can get it with the two-liter turbo or the V6. The only vehicle you can't get it with is the R-Type or the Type R. Yeah, the sporty one. The sporty one. Yeah. And that's sense. Yeah. One of the reasons why is right there. You have to have a tow hitch to get the Base Camp. Why? Because this valance, this whole thing back here, is special. Not because of the fake exhaust either, but it's just because of the way it's designed. Hey, tell me, why don't you go in the passenger seat? Nathan, you go in the driver. Show me the inside. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, boy. This. Yep. Don't pay attention to the mess on the floor. <laughs> I've been living with this vehicle for about a week, and overall, it's not the most exciting interior. It's one of the things that Volkswagen's kind of backed off on is making a really cool looking interior, but it's functional. It does everything it's supposed to do. Stereo system is quite good. Very, well, fairly easy to use infotainment sister system. I'm using Apple CarPlay whenever I'm not on camera. And good cubby space. Very comfortable ride. Seats are pretty damn decent. Mine are heated and cooled. And overall, I would say as a light off-road vehicle, it's okay. It's a surprisingly good tow vehicle. I really enjoyed doing Even the mirrors, they were totally fine for a small tent trailer. I really enjoyed towing with this, honestly. All right, let's wrap it up. Let me go see if I can grab the Monroni. Uh, because you guys are going to know the numbers, of course. So I've got all those numbers here. So as tested, Nathan, we are looking at, uh, well, we're looking at uh, $45,000. So Yes, you know. that's before the base camp. That's not part of that. So um, you gotta add. And then uh, fuel economy, uh, 16 city, 22 highway, 18, mm -hmm. you know, that's not bad. No. Uh, and of course, uh, we've got, you know, a whole bunch of features. I oh, think, this thing's loaded. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you know, every safety feature for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, you know, the, the stuff that people want, like 10-way driver seats, lumbar support. Yeah, massive uh, sunroof, panoramic. Yeah, big sunroof. Mm -hmm. uh, and it competes with cars like the Highlander. Obviously. Oh, yeah. oh, the pilot. The pilot. Yeah, that's yeah. a direct competitor to this, as far as I'm concerned. You know, the funny thing about this is that that base camp badge, a lot of people were asking me questions about it at the campground I was staying at because they all wanted to know the same thing. Oh, is it more off road worthy? No, it's not. But you know what? For those people who want just a little bit more of a roughy tufty look, I guess maybe that's where they want to go. And you know what's crazy? Hmm. So in Europe, obviously, they still build a Turag. Yeah, I know. Uh, but here in America, we get the Atlas. Yeah. And I got a feeling for all you Europeans, we've had the Turag, but you haven't had the Atlas. Yeah, see? Uh huh. Finally. You guys, you, know you, you like. miss out. You miss out on <laughs> this, and we don't get the Turag anymore. Yeah, not, but at least we had it. We had it, yeah, yeah. at least we did. All, All right, right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, and remember, uh, check out TFL Car, TFL Truck, and of course, TFL Off Road. Uh, this is on TFL Now, kind of a behind the scenes uh, little uh, video of what Nathan's doing here in Moab, how he's spending the evenings in his base camp. <laughs> That's right, guys. Thanks so much. Sorry, Nathan, I got I to gotta point out one more thing here. Plastic. All of it. It's all plastic. Yeah, but it's part of the base camp package and it looks roughy tufty. Those are the words that were specifically used by Zach. Well, you know, I mean, don't hit that. I'm, I'm not going to hit that. I'm going to be really careful. I don't want to break it. I break everything else. Plastic. Plastic. Ah.